Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. SQL CL is a command line tool with all the functionality of SQL Plus and more. In this video, we'll demonstrate the ORDS functionality built into Oracle SQL CL. I'm going to assume you already know about ORDS, so we'll race through some setup. If you're new to ORDS, you should probably check out the links in the description before watching this. We create a test user called test user1 and grant it the create session and create table privileges. We connect to the new user and create the emp table. We insert the usual data and then we can set up some services to demonstrate the SQL CL functionality. We enable ORDS for the test user1 schema and assign a base path of HR. This is a schema alias used in the web service URLs which lets ORDS know it's dealing with objects in the test user1 schema. We define a service with a module name and base path of REST v1 and a pattern of employees. The handler for the service associates the HTTP GET method with an SQL statement. It's not important what it does, we just need a service definition to display. We create a second service that is similar but has a module name of REST v2. We create a role called emprol. We create a privilege called empriv associated with the role and map it to the second web service. Now we can start using the REST functionality in SQL CL. Typing REST and return displays the command usage for the REST command. Let's take a look at these commands. We connect to a privileged user, then we run the REST schemas command. This displays the REST enabled schemas in the database along with the URL mappings associated with them. We connect back to the REST enabled schema. The REST modules command displays all the modules defined in the schema, including the module name and the base path. The REST privileges command displays information about the privilege we created. We can export all the REST service definitions in a schema using the REST export command. The output includes the enable schema call, as well as the define module, define template and define handler calls for each service. Even though we use the shortcut syntax to define the services, they're exported using the full syntax. We can display the definition of a single module by including the module name in the REST export command. Alternatively, we can use the module base path to export a specific module. These are quite handy additions to the basic command line functionality. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.